Good evening. This is Father Tom from Our Lady of Grace Church, and I wanted to give a little teaching about St. Francis Anthony Fasani, whose feast day is today, November the 27th, and I want to reveal to you some of his teachings about Our Lady, the Immaculata, who is, as he would say, Mary, the refuge of sinners. The Fasani family was poor in material goods, but was rich in faith. Every evening, the rosary was recited before the image of Mary Immaculate. From his mother, Anthony obtained the roots of his profound devotion to the Blessed Virgin. In 1695, at the age of 14, the young man entered the conventual Franciscans. Brother Francis Anthony pursued studies in theology, which he completed in Assisi with the reception of a master's degree, which earned him the name Il Padre Maestro. The master teacher, his affection and veneration for the Immaculata continued to grow, and in his humility, he even defined himself as a, the sinner of the Immaculata. That is, a poor sinner redeemed by the intercession of Mary Immaculate. In his fight uh, against sin, the saint had recourse to Mary Immaculate. He emphasized that if the Mother of God was Immaculate, it was so as to be the refuge of sinners. Her purity wipes away our stains and renders us pure. Her brightness drives out, drives out our darkness. After Adam and Eve's sin, God said to the serpent, that is, to the devil, I will put enmity between you the woman, between your offspring and hers. She will crush your head, and you will lie in wait at her heel. This is from Genesis 3.15, from the Vulgate translation. The fathers of the church saw this prophecy fulfilled in the Immaculate Virgin, the new Eve, who in a singular fashion assisted her divine son, the new Adam, in his fight against evil. To sinners who wish to convert, Father Fasani ceaselessly repeated that Mary, the enemy of sin, was the, at the same time the mother of mercy and the door to heaven. because she encourages us to pray, to regularly go to the sacraments of confession and the Eucharist, to listen to her divine Son and follow him. St. Maximilian Kobe, two centuries later, would go so far as to say that the Immaculate is the personification of divine mercy. She adds nothing to the mercy of God, which comes to us through the sacred heart of Jesus but in accordance with the, his Father's wishes, Jesus desires that mercy be distributed through Mary's hands. In the Immaculate Conception, St. Francis Anthony saw first of all the positive re reality, the sublimity of grace, which from the first moment elevates the person of Mary perfectly sanctified in light of her mission as mother of God. He brought out, in contrast to the grandeur of the divine gift, the Virgin's humility as a creature. Her sublimity came to her exclusively from God. It was not a conquest of human nature. Father Fasani 
also emphasized that after the dazzling beginning, the life of Our Lady was marked by constant spiritual growth in free conformity to graces from God. When going to preach, the saint generously distributed, especially to children, little pictures of the Immaculate Virgin. On the reverse side of which were written a pious recommendation, a short prayer, or a noble thought. The spiritual fruits of this quite simple practice were numerous. The Blessed Virgin even deemed to perform miraculous cures by the touching of these pictures. On November the 29th, 1742, at the beginning of the preparatory novena for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, Father Francis Anthony Fasani died of exhaustion. Here are some quotes from St. Francis Anthony Fasani. The Virgin Mary is the door to paradise. He alone who is not arrogant or puffed up is able to enter through this door for it is a narrow and humble one. Let us love Mary. Let us always have recourse to Mary in temptations, in afflictions, in times of spiritual dryness, in every necessity of soul and body. Mary is the key to paradise. In her, let us place all our hope because we can expect all things from God through her mediation. A prayer to the Immaculate Conception composed by St. Anthony Francis Fasani. O Immaculate Conception, among all creatures pure, you, Mary, are the perfect one. You alone are the blessed one from among all women. You are the lily among the thorns. You are the rose of Jericho. You are the mother, daughter, and spouse of the God who created you. O Immaculate Conception, amen. Finally, the Marian Antiphon for, for uh, Advent is the Toto Pogra Es Maria. And this was recited as St. Francis Anthony was dying. You are all fair, O Mary, and the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You are the honor of your people. You are the advocate of sinners. O oh Mary, O oh Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most tender, pray for us, intercede for us with Jesus Christ our Lord. In your conception, Holy Virgin, you were immaculate. Pray for us to the Father, whose Son you did bring forth. O Lady, aid my prayer, and let my cry come unto you. Let us pray. God, by the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin, you prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son. We beseech you that in the death of that son, you preserved her from all stain of sin, so you would be, you would enable us, being made pure by her intercession, to come to you. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The image in the statue of um, Our Lady of Grace uh, belonged to my great grandmother, Bertha. And, and when she died, it went to my grandmother. And when my grandmother died, it came to me. So for over a hundred years, 
This image has assisted my family in prayer, asking the intercession of the Blessed Mary. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. God bless you.